Hello guys, and welcome to this little series that I've created called World Domination. This is really inspired off of the, well actually it's heavily inspired, uh, off of the series What If Civilization Started All Over Again by Edis Pro. Shout out to him, he made me inspired to do something like this. Or like this. Um, basically, like we said, um, if you've watched the series, um, the gray is the unexplored, the white that we draw is explored by civilization or just people. Um, yeah, okay. Um, here's the lore that I've created up here. So, the year is 2722. Basically, what happened was there was a huge war uh, that happened that split up the, the whole world and it caused so much um, like deaths and stuff that it kind of um, wiped out most of humanity. But the left remaining 100,000 remaining humans went to the moon, tried to create a colony, but it just ended up failing and it sucked. So once they finally confirmed for sure that there was probably no more humans left on the Earth, they went back to discover what the Earth was again because it's been such a long time they don't remember really that much. So, the first area they found was here because they landed there. So we're gonna draw this area. And it's a new thing is like, we're gonna have them names. It's alongside it went in their civilization color. So they just continue to look around the area they're at. Now they still don't know what exactly the area is at. And for all they know, they're probably thinking it's the Italian Peninsula. So they keep on discovering and they finally discover this whole area part. So they think, you know what, I think that's a part where we announce our civilization. So they become a civilization officially and start here. We're gonna call these guys Grey Wolf. Okay, Grey Wolf. Okay. And then boom. So now Grey Wolf also decides to, you know what, take that. Okay. So they go along the coast sides to annex lawn side. So then this is when the period of gray wood literature and stuff starts to blow up, um, blow up in a good way because they're only civilization and there's actually a lot of diverse people there that they start to grow into the gray or nationality. So, eventually, they start to try and discover more. And then that's when another person, um, with like, I'd say, since this population's, let's just, like 200,000 people. So, um, a thousand went off to around here-ish and decided, hey, Let's draw on civilization. I kind of starting to hate this place. Earth Great Wolf. They're so caught up in their own really big culture and they're super national. So now these guys over here, we're gonna call these Lime Suck. I don't know why, but I'm gonna call the name's gonna be different, by the way. So it's how you pronounce this Lime Suck, but how it's spelled, it's Limpsuk. And now these guys said, but we are small and these guys could crush us at any moment with our army and stuff. So they start to discover more, and this is the most south area, I'd say, they have ever went before for this humanity part. So these guys said, you know what, let's start to annex land. And it works perfectly good for them. They are expanding, but Grey Wolf is pretty scared of the civilization. So let's just speed up time a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is later. As you can see, it's not like a lot of progress, but hey, you gotta realize 
it's only a few civilizations, like two, and probably is going to take a while. So, this is the whole world, and this is the only percentage they have discovered. As you can see, it's pretty low, but they decide to explore together, and they go down on one of the most biggest adventures ever. <clears throat> and they find this area here. Now, limes suck once for a gray wolf um, country to disappear, or for them to be um, I'd say less popular because they just annexed a lot of land just now. There we go. So now these guys are going to <clears throat> make a colony but own separate civilization. Um, over here. What should we call these guys? <clears throat> And by the way, guys, you can come up with your own, like, lore, maybe a bit later, or the leaders, all that stuff. You can come up with your own lore. I just begun it a bit. <clears throat> so we're just going to call these guys Tuv. Why don't you recognize any? Either way. So this Tuv um, starts to explore out, become a little bit more bigger. Ooh, I, it's real hard to see that T, so I'm gonna have to show that. <clears throat> uh, this is gonna be annoying. Okay, there we go. So now, Tub is a country, and this is where we enter, I'd say, the more like Nemesis era, or like the Clay era. It's a period. Um, basically, during this time, a lot of enemies start to appear, more, like, civilizations start to become more, I'd say, advanced. And this is, I'd also consider during this period, annexation period. A lot more countries explore a little bit less and annex and start to inter integrate their lands. So, Limesuck and Tuv starts to make an alliance. <coughs> And because of Lime Suck's orders, um, Tove expands a little bit more out. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. And Tove is now expanding downwards near like the Stanlands. Hey, if this was a bit more head, Tove would be a very rich country. Either way, they, even though Limesuck said, you cannot be uh, in an alliance anymore if you go higher than this part. Well, Tub decided to break it. Because he, see, Tub does not really care about the alliance. In fact, he, Tub doesn't really care about Grey Wolf and Limesuk. And as you can see, right now Limesuk is not that great. But then that's when Lime Sook marches out with tons of people down this way and starts to expand by a lot. It matches the name with the pronunciation, by the way. I'm just realizing this just now. But Lime Sook starts to become even huger. Basically, could be almost the size of Tuv, but Tuv is, of course, huge. Grey Wolf now discovering even more that around here is a lot of land. They expand out. And of course, they're going to probably eat that land. Okay. So now, n basically, number one right now, I want to remind you guys around these areas are high dense population, I'd say, around here. We need to draw a little bit of an area. Around here, here-ish, and I'd say around here, um, is highly dense population. Some areas that don't have as much 
is like now that new discovered area right here um here i'd say a bit more up here and here all right that's basically the main part but yeah why is there that dot there oh it must be in this part there Anyways, now that these guys are really huge, we need new civilizations. That's perfect timing because Tuv starts to discover down here, and a lot of people from the Lime Souk and Tuv civilization hate the idea of being enemies with everyone against each other, and they become their own civilization. And they're like a teal color, so what should we call them? We're gonna call these this country Criv. <clears throat> oh, Criv. So now Criv is an existing country, but Criv wants to expand. Now it. From the area they're at, it's not really good of an area. But Quiv has found new, a bit more resources, I'd say. Because Quiv decides to explore more downwards into Bulgarian lands. Okay, and there we go. And soon we're going to enter it. The area of where it's like more fancy-ish, I'd say like, you know, Italy, Roman Empire, a bit like ancient Greece, Carthage, all that kind of stuff. But, for this time period, um, of course it's the same time period, but I'm the same for different countries and stuff. Tav is starting to become like a whole, what is this called again? I forgot, but. Basically, Tov starts to go into the Caucasian mountain areas and really likes it. And I'm just going to have it like this since it's a big, densely populated area. <clears throat> since it's the most newest city, of course, it's going to get populated. <clears throat> During that time, since Lime Souk and Tov um, split up and a lot of these civilizations haven't touched each other, Tuv was the first country to really move. As you can see, Tuv is really huge. I'd say number one. But at the same time, Lime Souk really wanted to move to near that area. So they get a little bit of that Finland area, more like Russia, and officially touches the area of Tuv. Wow. So now, Lime Souk, very huge as I'd say Tuv, but Grey Wolf, also pretty huge. The only civilization that's small is Kriv. These people in here, the middle, which we're gonna call them like a skin color, honestly. Beige-ish? Either way, these guys become their own country because they just don't want more anything. They become the Ura, because I will remind you, language probably changed uh, quite a bit uh, since they were gone. And a lot of that area is a Ura um, mountains. I mean, they still pronounce it Ura, but that's how they spell it. And the civilization said, but we don't want to dust beer about that, so they discover even more land. Okay. And they get this land. Okay. So then Iwol and Tav become an alliance. And then Lime Souk and Grey Wolf finally for once t teamed up. The crew, Kriv is just by itself. <laughs> Poor Kriv. But finally, the Black Sea was fully discovered <clears throat> by Kriv, actually. So, yeah. 
And they officially make, you know, that Macedon shape of Egypt. Yeah, basically discovered that kind of shape of Egypt. I'm just saying, just going to say Quiv discovered Egypt. So then that's when Quiv becomes a huge empire. You know when our country's an empire down in the Middle East once they got Egypt, honestly. That's a lot of a pattern of countries that do. That I know it's just now. So, oh, let me just fix that real quick. Like this. And... They're just gonna have some little chunks of Egypt. Oh yeah, I don't forget the separation here. But neither than that, that's the only land that they got. Okay, there we go. Then later on, they just decide, you know, let's just get this. So now this is Quiv, big country. And this is now the whole part of the world that has existed. But, of course, when you spice up and get some more countries, not just big and it gets born, so the first rebellion happens. Down here, these this uh, kind of people want to explore more western here. So they become their own country and start to invade Limesuk. As you can see, Limesuk is pretty cornered. But I won't mind you. Uh, Limesuk also has technology advancement where they do have boats, so they go around and they discover a little bit of land. So yeah. I mean, it ain't the worst, but it is pretty bad when a huge chunk of your land gets cut off because of that. And because it's like what they said, they wanted to discover more of the western area. They do. Oh yeah, we should probably call this red country something. What should we call it? Um. Huh. We're gonna call it Vamp. So, a Vamp now finally finds this area that they've been wanting to discover more. But Lime Souk was trying to prevent these people from getting over there. Why? We have no idea. But yeah. So here's the thing that's right now. And hint, hint, something is going to happen alongside Scandinavia where it gets super popular. Hint, hint, for next episode of this series. Definitely not this part gets colonized and something happens there. Hint, hint. That's the only two hints I'm going to give you. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this little series that I'm starting called World uh, Domination, inspired from Ad Adiz Pro, uh, series, What If Civilization Start Over. But yeah, that's pretty much for today's video. Also, I just want to say, trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year 2024. Would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Just really hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!